guys, we're Temple of Angels and we're here with Run For Cover in New York City at Generation Records. Run For Cover very kindly gave us some money to go buy some of our favorite records, so let's go inside and see what we can find. Town Van Zant, Lion Shoes. Uh, I love Towns Van Zandt, he's one of my favorite singer-songwriters. Uh, Flying Shoes, one of my favorite songs. No Place to Fall, and Rex's Blues, also a couple of my favorite songs. Uh, my dad also really likes this guy, so we send songs back and forth. He's like, you gotta listen to the lyrics, man. You gotta listen to the lyrics. I already have a few of his records, but I don't have this one. So, this is a strong contender. We'll see. Looks like I found a... Head Cleaners collection, just a bunch of Head Cleaner songs. Let's Swedish feel. hardcore. Yeah, from like 82, 83, something like that. Good right here. Same thing. Hood Vit Vat, I don't know how to say it. Then we got like, found this Disfear record, Brutal Side of War. I don't honestly listen to Disfear too much, but uh, before Disfear, they had this band called Anti Bofors. That was really sick. Really good stuff. This fair is pretty good too though. But yo, check this out over here. You got a Nihilistics up here. Really dirty, like hateful hardcore from the 80s. Super sick. And this Maximum Rock and Roll comp that I just noticed. Has like one of my favorite takes of uh, Annihilation. This song by uh, Crucifix. So sick. I feel like I'm usually looking for used stuff. Yeah, if there's a new release that I like, would want to get it, then I'd probably, you know, like, get it from the band, or... So I, I typically will look through the, yeah. the used stuff to find something that, like, I wasn't expecting to find. I'm looking for his son. Something that I can actually <laughs> speak about, but I haven't seen him yet. Judas Priest. Looks like a live compilation. And it's in New York, so I thought it was appropriate to pick it. And, uh, has all the bangers on it. Diamonds and Rust, held in for leather. I found Fleetwood Mac Rumors, which is an obvious, timeless classic. Um, but it was a direct influence on the record, so I thought it was worth pointing out. The song, When the Shadow Smiles Back, I just immediately, just the instrumental, I could totally, I like envision a CD mix, Lindsey Buckingham, like dueling kind of vocal on it. And I was like, Avery, you have to sing this one with me. And uh, so this was totally an influence on on that song at least, but I mean, her vocals are an influence in, in everything that I do, so. This was the first hardcore album I ever listened to in my entire life when I was like 13 years old. I had a like little tape CD shop, kind of like 15 minute walk away from my house where I grew up. And uh, I had like some friends that were into hardcore at the time, like I, I think Gorilla Biscuits might have been like the first band I might have heard of, but this was the first like record that I listened to on my own. As a child, is that youth today? Yeah, it is youth today. I knew it. It's my very, it's my very first, very first thing I ever bought. So they got it downstairs here, for, uh, and there might be an IQ 32 seven inch down there from Necros that I think we're gonna have to check out. <laughs> I hope it's still there. If I could buy that, I'd buy that. Sick Kill Slug, seven inch. Haven't listened to Kill Slug in a minute. But really good band, kind of slower, nasty, kind of punk stuff. And then Misery, seven inch too. I've never heard that one though. Misery, I, they have a lot of stuff out though. Elastica CD, Justine Frieschman, another lifelong influence icon. This art is sick. I've never seen this. Oh, this is so cool. You know, they just don't, they just don't make CDs like they used to, you know? Being a, a 90s child and growing up with CDs, it's like the format that I'm most attached to, probably. And just something about a CD booklet is so fun. Britpop art and like music videos is like a huge, huge influence on everything that I do, especially Elastica. I got, uh, That's the Way Love Is by Bobby Blant. I was looking for, it's kind of on the back here, Two Steps from the Blues. I think this, that's probably what kind of originally got me deeper into like soul, blues, and funk. David Ruffin, Bobby Bland's, classic Sodas Redding, stuff like that. What is this? I can't even read it. <laughs> the Sudiant? 
in the nursery, Wax Tracks, 1990. I don't know, this looks like it could be up my alley. Given the time period and just the vibes, I mean, Lilith Fair kind of vibes, right? You know, like 90s moody pop. So I, I might have to check this one out, I don't know. Singles for some reason, and same thing, same with CDs. Like, I have a lot of CD singles, and, like, there's not as many of them in existence. And I love like radio promo CDs and stuff like that. Like, I, ha I buy a lot of that stuff for my own collection just because it's also like different artwork that's like different from the record that you know is most associated with whatever the single is. Um, so, I, I think I like singles for that reason. They're just kind of like something more fun and collectible about it. Funny things that I like, like, I have never heard the same. Maybe there's a song that I would know, but this just looks so on my alley. Like, that photograph is just perfect. And I really am curious to check this out. I bet it's amazing. 1996. I, I, I don't know what I'm about to like, walk out with all these things that I've like, not even listened to. But I mean, come on, that looks... And you can see, too, it's like the two of these together, they probably sound totally different, but they're probably both super up my alley. So I found this empty section for Power Troop which is good, because I love those boys, those are my boys. And I also, right behind it, Poison Ruin, great record. Oh, those are our Philly friends. Will, I love you. Definitely gonna get this one, just because you're my friend, and I hope you feel better. You're not feeling too good right now. So, a little bit of support. This is a movie that I love, Elizabeth Town. It's classic. It has a Red House Painter song in it, um, which I love that band, and uh, my lady's never seen it, so I'm getting it literally to make her watch a stupid lovey-dovey comedy. I'm seeing some Amoebics over here, and then I have to find my favorite Anti-Symex record. You just can't go wrong with Anti-Symex. They're classic, they're one of my favorites. And then, what are Blitz. I love Blitz. Me and Cole, who's right over there. Uh, lots of Blitz inspiration, just in our normal day-to-day -day writing styles. Uh, I actually wanted to bring this up because we just played with this band called Deluxe from Buffalo and uh, they definitely have a super pits style. So that's a little plug for Deluxe. Um, this I have too many of, but it is one of my favorite records. You know, some people, I, it wasn't that long ago, I had never heard Rimmer's Up with Mac, and it changed my life, literally forever, permanently. This also changed my life when I heard it when I was 16 years old, living in the suburbs of Houston, Texas. Portishead absolutely blew my mind wide open. I saw the live performance they did at Roseland in NYC. Absolutely incredible, legendary performance by any band of any point in time in history. And um, I mean, I could talk forever about how much of an impact this band has had on my life, one of my favorite bands of all time. Number one band in my life I've never gotten to see live. I would do literally anything to make that happen, and I really hope it does one day. Um, the audio of this is amazing, the video of it is awesome too. I have the VHS at home, but I don't have the record, so I will be battling to keep this one today. I got this one. Okay. Sean Anderson, Wild and Blue. Country classic with the hit single, Wild and Blue. I love his nasally voice. I don't know, it just seems like a solid guy. I don't know him personally, so I can't really tell, but I like his songwriting. And uh, he's handsome. So, yeah. I think this is gonna be my pick. Look at that guy. Look at that nose. Look at that guy. Mm. <laughs> oh, great. He's never told a lie in his life. What do we choose? What do we choose? I can't knock at this. It's too perfect. And I, <laughs> I won't argue with him. I've never seen it. I would love to borrow it sometime, Avery. Or just borrow. perhaps watch it with you. Can I borrow your DVD? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course. Well, when I think of Christian Dunst. Elizabeth Town, oh. I oftentimes <laughs> also think of the head cleaners. <laughs> Uh, um, while this is a record and a performance that is very near and dear to my heart, oh. I think I will choose these CDs. I mean, they're a few bucks each, and I've never heard them, and I would love to discover something new that I haven't heard before, and I really think... I mean, I know I love Elastica, but these just look like I'm gonna love them, and I really want to hear what they sound like, so... Well, I want the New York After Midnight Judas Priest so album. I think I'm gonna go with John Anderson. I think that's a good choice. Yeah, that's a good choice. Good. Yeah, hard I think to find. We all made really good choices. I think so okay. too. Yeah. Well, I'll run for governor today. I can hand over the card and we're gonna go pay for this stuff at the counter. <laughs> <laughs> Six 
Nice. Yeah. That's good but we're, we're, we're cheap. We're, we're easy. Easy to please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're cheap and we're easy and we're fast. Tag secured. Uh, we picked up a few records. Looks like it's going to go now. Almost oh, around for Thank you guys. I just, just heard them. I just started listening to them the other week. Uh, I haven't heard that record specifically, but the, the price is making me think it's worth listening to. It's looking like it's $4,500, which, you know, I'm not a business a businessman or a, have access to the bank accounts, but I think Run For Cover, uh, I think we can swing it. Jeff, please. 